Hey girls, today I'm doing a empties for skincare and makeup. There aren't too many pieces in here. I'd say it's more skincare than makeup, but I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I'm compiling all my empties into categories. So it's obviously skincare face products today. And do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy my empties, if you'd like to see more reviews, and let's get into it. So I'll start with skincare. The first product is from The Ordinary, and it is the AHA BHA Peeling Solution. So it's a 10 minute exfoliating mask. It's, you can't tell from this bottle, it just looks like a normal serum bottle. It is literally a deep red liquid. So it's basically like that vampire facial. It just, yeah, this bright red liquid, it's, in a very, very light consistency actually, so you wanna be careful with it being too runny. But I've mentioned this so many times, I'll just give you my overview um, after using like three or four bottles at this point. It gives my skin a very smoothing finish, it feels softer, it looks a little bit more glowy, like it evens out my skin tone a little bit and with, you know, regular use every week, I do think it has a prolonged effect and it really does brighten up my skin. And it's very, very subtle changes. It's the kind of products you need to use for a while to really be able to, um, you know, see all those changes over time. But I have noticed like obviously right after washing it off, my skin gets a little bit red, but once that fades, it really does turn into like a, a brighter, smoother consistency. So I do vouch for this product. I do recommend it and it's super cheap. It's like six to seven pounds. So really inexpensive and I use it every week. I did just use it a new bottle again um, this morning and I really enjoy it. The only thing is obviously because it's a peeling acid solution, you wanna be careful with the application when washing it off, just keep it away from your eyes and mouth. But other than that, no complaints. Next is a pore strip. I think I probably literally just mentioned this in a haul I did. Um, or I think I talked about it in another video, but anyway, oh yeah, I did a skincare video, which I don't know if it'll be up yet. And it's the Biore Ultra Deep Cleansing Pore Strip. So pretty standard self-explanatory product. This one is a little bit better than the tea tree one, I think, um, the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel range. I do like this one a little bit more just cause I feel like it got more out of my blackheads and like out of my pores. Again, that might just be because of the way I kind of wet my face like I made sure my nose area was wet before applying perhaps I didn't do it as much with the others but this one's almost twice the price of that one I think no not twice the price but it's a little bit more expensive this one is about $7.99 without any offers having said that you can find loads of offers Boots do like $5.99 offers on this product quite a lot so I do really recommend it again it's still a really inexpensive product you get six in each pack and obviously that's going to last about six weeks. I wouldn't recommend doing it more than once a week. So it is really, really good value. You don't really have to repurchase it often at all. And yeah, I'll probably repurchase that one still. So next I have a, another ordinary product. I think, yeah, it's my only, my last ordinary product for this video. And it's the Ascorbyl, glu Ascorbyl Glucoside Solution in 12%. So it's basically ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. So basically the product is going to be very, very bright brightening and yeah vitamin c is meant to kind of smooth out your skin tone even it out make it brighter and remove any kind of like discoloration over time and this is the literal i think extract of that solution within vitamin c which is ascorbic acid so basically i don't know much more of this kind of scientific information behind this so this one definitely had a slightly brightening effect on my skin it felt like more of a gel thicker serum type of consistency it wasn't super light or anything it wasn't like a watery base it was more of like a thick serum gel so i feel like three drops for your whole face is definitely enough like forehead one on each cheek and then blend it out over the face so i think in terms of like yeah value for money the amount of product you use a little bit does go a long way so it will last quite a while and again it's one of those products that takes you know, a bit of time to see the results. Obviously, if something's gonna brighten your skin tone, that is not something you can do overnight. Um, so I did notice a little bit of brightening effects. I definitely did overall notice a little bit of a brightening effect. My skin did look good. It obviously didn't create any negative effects. I don't think it was causing me any acne or breakouts. And I mean, it was a decent product. It wasn't miraculous. It, it didn't like transform my, my face because I'm still using other brightening products. However, it is a decent product. I like the consistency and texture. It was unscented. So I feel like it's probably suitable for most skin types. And yeah, I think it worked relatively well. And ascorbic acid itself is known as a really good brightening product anyway. So continuing with skincare, I have an SPF, which is one I was using 
at the end of last year, I think still at the beginning of this year, I was just finishing it up. And it is a one from Ultra Sun. So I think I don't, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but it's a, a anti-aging SPF. It says it's got antioxidants and no kind of nasty chemicals or irritating ingredients. It's SPF 30, so it's relatively high. I'd recommend that to be the SPF factor that you're using um, as a minimum. I'd highly recommend that for everyone. I always look for 30 or above. And it's a really, really thick SPF. It's one of, like, if you imagine the SPFs you use on your body, it kind of felt like that. It was a really thick consistency. It wasn't oily or greasy feeling, but it definitely was a thick moisturizer. So if you have oily prone, oily acne prone skin and you just don't like kind of greasy type of products, this is probably a little bit too heavy for you. It may clog your pores. I didn't like the consistency. Also, it left a little bit of a white cast. As an SPF, obviously it was protecting my skin. It was moisturizing my skin. However, it was just too thick and light. Um, it was like this thick white, no, I wouldn't even say paste, but it was like a really thick white cream. So it was a little bit hard to work with. And for that reason, I won't repurchase it. I also think it's probably mid range price. It's not the cheapest product. So it's probably, not worth shelling out the extra money for, so I won't be repurchasing that one. And then I have an oil, which is a product I was using overnight. I bought it a long time ago. You might have seen it in a haul ages ago if you watch one of my old Boots hauls. And it's from a brand I love, which is Botanics. And I only managed to get around to finishing it now. And I thought because it was already open, I had already started using the oil, I should probably just finish it up soon. Um, I know it's not gonna expire like within one year, I reckon like a year and a half and the product is probably still going to have its active ingredients and still be doing some kind of benefits for your skin but obviously if you can get it the, use the product as soon as you open it um i think that's probably the best in terms of kind of how strong the product the ingredients are going to be if that makes sense so i really did want to just use it up um i didn't want it lying around opened in my skincare drawer so it's the 100 percent organic rosehip and lavender restoring overnight facial oil and obviously it's got potentially irritating ingredients being the essential oil extract some people's skin might not react well to lavender i know some people really don't like it Rosehip is generally good, especially for acne prone skin, but again, there might be some ingredients that break people out. So I don't recommend this to everyone, but it felt and smell amazing. Like mm, it has a very, very herbal, but light scent. So it was very pleasant to apply. And I use this as my final step in my nighttime routine. And I love slathering my face in thick oils and creams overnight. I feel like it really penetrates into the skin and it gives it that time overnight, you know, for like eight, nine hours of application just to sink into the skin perfectly. So I did enjoy it overall. It was a pleasant product to use. I didn't notice any breakouts or any issues. And yeah, it wasn't the most amazing product. It didn't transform my skin. There were definitely very beneficial natural ingredients in there that were doing good for my skin. And Botanics itself is a great brand. So perhaps down the line in the future, I will repurchase it. So I have three final makeup items. So two of them are from NYX and they're all drugstore. So I think you guys will really appreciate these recommendations and heads up I do love all three of them so first one is the NYX matte finish um, yeah long-lasting setting spray this one is pretty small but I do believe this is the full-size bottle I think they just sell them in smaller um, you know packages and this one is 60 milliliters however considering it's a setting spray and it's a mist it's what was that? It's a mist. It's obviously gonna last quite a while. Just like, I mean, it's not amazing. I do probably prefer the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've also heard great things about the Morphe Setting Spray. However, it's drugstore, cruelty-free. It's kind of like a cult favorite brand. A lot of people love NYX products, and including me. And yeah, I really appreciate the brand. I've been buying from them for years. And my makeup does, tend to look pretty good and in place. It doesn't budge when I use this. So perhaps it does actually help set my makeup really nicely. And also the application process is really pleasant. It's like a really fine light mist that dries in about 10 seconds. So it's, yeah, I mean, the application process is good. I don't have any complaints. I haven't noticed like anything going wrong with my makeup when using it. So I'd probably recommend it to you guys. Now next is an absolute cult favorite that I love and that I can guarantee you guys will love as well. If you have slightly sparse eyebrows, just areas you wanna fill in and you like that thicker, more natural look to your brows. 
I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So it's kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia, Bra is it Brow Wiz? I can't remember. Yeah, it might be the Anastasia Brow Wiz is what it's called, but it's also a double-ended um, product. So in here you've got the product, would normally twist up and it's like a very, very creamy, solid liner type of consistency. If you could imagine a really soft brown eyeliner, that's what this looks like. And the shade I usually get is Torp because it's dark enough for me to, you know, get darker eyebrows, add some definition in, but not so dark that it looks ridiculous with lighter hair, because obviously I'm, I'm lightening my hair. It's relatively light and blonde at this stage. And obviously I wanna keep my brows kind of uh, matching my hair, but still adding color in. I think this one was in Torp. And also I've gone for Ash Blonde, which is slightly lighter, more natural, um, but I do prefer Torp because it adds more color. But yeah, the second, oh God, this is so dirty, gross, but um, it's a spoolie, so you're meant to brush your eyebrows out. It's just got the product all over it, but yeah, it's really good for brushing up your brows. So it's double-ended, really, really light and small, so you can throw it in your handbag and take it with you on holiday. And again, super cheap. I don't know the price, but it's probably under 10 pounds and it lasts a very long time. Like I said, you can just do very hair-like brush strokes. It's very natural and easy to use for gaps. So for me, like literally 10 seconds per brow and I'm done. I'm not like super crazy about my eyebrows. As long as they're filled in and have a, you know, bit of an arch and a lengthening um, end here, I try to lengthen it, I'm good to go. So it's really easy to use and really easy to remove as well if you make a mistake. So highly recommend it. And final product is a mascara. This is from Soap & Glory. It's the Th Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. Basically, I don't really care about the names of mascaras. I care what the wand looks like and what the consistency of the mascara is. On top of that, this is actually very, very affordable. As we all know, Soap & Glory is a drugstore brand. So it's a UK brand, I think, and it's cruelty free. I think a lot of their products are vegan as well. I just love the brand itself. And I never really looked to their makeup, but I saw this and I think I just bought it on a whim. Like I saw it on offer and I was really, really impressed. Like the brush itself doesn't look spectacular, but as you can see, it's quite thick. So it does add a bit of a thick coat to your lashes and the color was really dark and it really lengthened my lashes. So the brush isn't shaped into like a special shape. It looks like a standard mascara, but the consistency of it, the texture and everything, it just applied perfectly. Like it really helped lift my brows. The only thing is I would say after three months, it's probably gone dry. So it's definitely the type of mascara you want to use as your day to day, like go to mascara. Cause otherwise I think after a couple of months, the effect kind of lessens and lessens over time. So for me, I was using it every day for work. And honestly it got to the point where it was like leaving lines under my brows. Cause that's how lifted my bra my lashes were. So every time I looked up, I could feel it. And I think I use like three or four coats per, um, per eye. So you do need to get through a little bit to create a really kind of like, you know, out there effect and like a very, very thick lifted doll lash effect, but it's definitely worth it. It's like 10 pounds. So in terms of like Holy Grail mascaras, it's on the cheaper end. So I love it. I will repurchase it when I get through my other like 500. <laughs> But those are all the products I have to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you'd like more empties and reviews, I tried to mix it up a little bit, match skincare with some makeup. So let me know if you enjoy this format and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.